Hey guys, welcome to the channel. Today we're going to be going over the spy files, Scientology spy files, and this is going to be the fifth video in this series. In the last video, we talked about Osa contacting my wife Claire and how they wanted us to get through our A to E steps, and we covered all those different steps. And in one of those steps, they talk about paying off any debts that we have to Scientology. And Kirsten Catano, uh, or Kirsten Pedersen now, at uh, OSA, the Office of Special Affairs, Scientology's spy wing, she refers to freeloader debts. And a freeloader debt is essentially a debt that you have, a Sea Org member has, if they're in the Sea Org and they do any courses and then they leave the Sea Org, then Scientology considers them a freeloader and they want to charge them for any courses or counseling that they did while they were in the Sea Org. Now, when you're in the Sea Org, you make about $45 a week. My wife and I were there. I was there for about 15 years and Claire was there for, I think, about 13 years. And in that time, we both did courses over that entire period. And these are the courses that they want to now charge us for when we left in 2005. And so the first thing we're going to have is we're going to have a, just a letter from Scientology International in Los Angeles. And then um, we're going to go through Claire's bill and then we'll go through my bill. And you can see how much they charge for some of these things. And these are the prices that they would have charged a Sea Org member. A Scientology public can do and do, they do do a lot of these courses and um, besides the Sea Org only courses. And um, I think in most cases they're either charged about the same or more than what these prices are. And, the, and given these are uh, 2005 prices. So the prices could have changed uh, dramatically uh, since 2005. So let's get into it. We'll go through the first document here. So this is from Senior HCO International, which is the Hubbard's Communication Office. That's what HCO stands for. And that's basically HCO is the division that deals with personnel and ethics. And, um, and the communications that are uh, routed throughout the organization. Those are the three departments that are in the, uh, the Hubbard Communications Office. And um, so this is from Senior HCO International. It's written to me. It's from November 13th, 2005. And it says, Dear Claire and Mark, and they've misspelled my name again. So after 15 years, they still have no idea how to spell my name. Dear Claire and Mark, I was told by Senior INR Int, that's the Senior Inspections and Reports, that's one of the departments in HCO. I was told by Senior INR Int that you wanted your freeloader bill. This is attached. Also, I have no record of receiving your steps A and B. Please send these. So those are the steps that they talk about in the um, A to E steps. Um, I'm not sure why we need to send him step A because step A is the step that the organization does. So um, I'm sorry, but this guy might have a confusion on how that works. Or maybe I have a confusion on how that works. Um, anyway, also, I have no record of receiving your steps A and B. Please send these. Much love, as always, in Scientology, there's much love. Mike Ellis, International Justice Chief, and it's signed by him. Now, in Scientology... Um, I think it's uh, because L. Ron Hubbard did it or somebody did it somewhere. Maybe Dave Miscavige did it. Um, he signs documents, much love. So everyone signs documents, much love. Even if you write a knowledge report, like you're ratting somebody out and you say a bunch of stuff that they did, you'll write it. It's like could be a scathing report on that person. At the end, you write much love. <laughs> okay, so let's get into the, uh, the document. This is Claire's document. Okay. So it says Claire Headley, care of International Justice Chief. So we're not allowed to talk to anyone in Scientology. So if we want to um, talk to them or somebody in Scientology wants to send something to us, they have to send it to the International Justice Chief and then he has to send it to us. So somebody from the international base um, drew up these freeloader bills and then they sent it to the International Justice Chief so that he can then send it to us. Freeloader statement, and it says item description, credit, debit, 
and balance. I'm going to rip through these because there's a lot. If there's something that doesn't make sense, I'll try to explain it in non-Scientology terms. But um, and you can see just the co- I'll tell the I'll say the cost. I won't read the balance as well. I'll read the balance when we get to the end. OK, so training security course, two hundred fifty dollars base basic staff hat, two hundred and fifty dollars. Now, the security course is just a course you do when you get to the Ent base that says we're going to read your mail when it comes in. We're going to read your mail when you sign it out, when you send it out. Um, don't tell anybody where we are. Don't talk to anybody. Don't talk to the police. Um, Don't bring any documents, any confidential documents off the property, um, that sort of thing. That's between the security course and the base basic staff hat. That's pretty much what those courses cover. Executive status one. That's just a course you do in Scientology. If you're an executive, which is if you have five or more people under you, you're considered an executive. OEC Volume Zero, that's the Organization Executive course. That's a big course you do to learn how to be an executive. And um, it, the very first volume is called Volume Zero. And pretty much every staff member has to do that course in Scientology or the C organization. You have to do what's called OEC Vol Zero. Um, OEC Volume One, that's just the next volume. And that's also a whole course for that volume. Um, Stat analysis course, that's just a course that teaches you how to analyze statistics using Scientology's statistic analysis technology, which is certainly not worth the $1,200 they're charging for it. Oh, and I forgot to list the other ones. So executive status one, that's $1,500. OEC volume zero, $3,740. OEC volume one, $3,740. Stat analysis course, $1,200. The MCSC, I think that's the mini course supervisors course. So it's a small course on how to be a course supervisor, which is just a a person who supervises other people that are studying Scientology courses. And that course is $3,255. Then there's the HPWCC, which is the Hubbard Professional Word Clearers course. And that's Um, somebody who learns all the different ways to clear words. So you look up words in a dictionary. um, That's one method of word clearing. And there's a lot, there's a whole bunch of other, I think there's nine of them, nine different ways to do word clearing, word clearing like processes or procedures in Scientology. And this course teaches you to be a professional word clearer. And that's $2,000. Then there's the class four internship for $1,128. That's a course that just um, basically teaches you how to do auditing up to a certain level of counseling in Scientology and you practice on other people. Academy level zero through four certainty course, that's $8,000. The Hubbard Key to Life course, $5,000. Hubbard Life Orientation course, $3,500. Now, mind you, those two courses have since been canceled because they're 100% useless and do nothing. Admittedly, by Scientology, all of these courses are useless and do nothing. But Scientology admits that those two are definitely just a giant waste of time and they don't even do them anymore. So that's $13,000 for those two right there. Cramming officer course, $1,500. A cramming officer is somebody who, if somebody messes up on a course or they don't get all the knowledge that they're supposed to obtain, a cramming officer is somebody who helps them uh, figure out the things that they missed and then helps them learn those things. Then a cramming officer internship, $2,000. That's just, I guess, when you cram people, you practice cramming people. I guess. Solo course part one, 1500. Solo course part two, 2500. Okay, that's all the training. Now, uh, Claire also did a lot of processing, which is counseling, Scientology counseling in the C organization. I didn't do much of that, but she did. And um, that's, this is how much they charge for that. Now, get ready. These are the real, um, these ones. That there's about four or five of these. They add up more than everything else we've talked about. And our current uh, tally so far for the training was $41,063. That was for 15 years of Scientology training that Claire did. Now, under processing. Processing, new OT1, 
27.50. OT2, 52.50. OT3, $9,000. So if you want to find out about Lord Xenu and all the body thetans and the volcanoes and all the craziness, that's $9,000. New OT4, $9,250. New OT5, $27,750. Wow. Okay, now this is the most hilarious thing ever. So <clears throat> when you mess up in Scientology or you do something wrong um, in your training or your counseling, there's two things that you do. You do cramming if you missed something and you need to kind of figure out what you missed and you do word clearing. And word clearing, there's a lot of emphasis on word clearing because basically um, they believe that misunderstood words are the underlying problem for a whole uh, slew of Scientology issues. So Claire over here, she got, it says cramming at $150 a day for $1,200. And then she got word clearing at $317 an hour. And they billed her for one hour of word clearing. In 15 years, they're saying she did. She got word clearing for one hour, which is kind of funny. Anyway, that's not a lot. That's like, I'm I'm pretty sure she she did more than that. But let's just let's just say that's what she did. Okay, the grand total for Claire for doing all those things is ninety six thousand five hundred and eighty dollars. Okay, now for Claire, that is, um, that does seem like about what she did in, in the, you know, 13 years she was there, 13, 14 years she was there. Um, $96,580. You've got to be kidding me. Anyway, um, so that's Claire's free letter bill. Now let's do my free letter bill. Mark Headley, care of Injustice Chief, free loader statement. Training. Okay, now I'm gonna. I'm not gonna explain the ones that I already explained on Claire's. We have a, a, a lot of the a similar courses because they're just mandatory courses that all Sea Org members need to do. Which, by the way, if you are an employer or you are somebody who's um, have people working for them and you insist or mandate that they do certain um, courses or training, it's illegal. It's against the law in the United States to charge them for that training because you're you're in enforcing or insisting that they do that so you have to provide that it's just a small little point okay training security course 250 base basic hat 250 product zero so that is basically the c org when you get into the c org you have to do a certain um, set of courses and when you get to the international headquarters, no matter if you've done those courses or not, you have to redo them all again. You have to basically redo all your basic training when you arrive to the international headquarters. And so they list them out for me. It says product zero, $3,904. Welcome to the Sea Org tapes, basic Sea Org member hat, intro to Scientology ethics, keys to competence, how to make work easier, personal grooming course, and the Sea Org cleaning course. And really all these are, they're L. Ron Hubbard uh, writings on how to do all these things. Like literally, how to wash windows, how to cl clean your nails, how to trim your nails, how to take a shower, how to make work easier. Um, the keys to competence, intro to Scientology ethics, the basic Sea Org member hat, and the welcome to the Sea Org tapes. The welcome to the Sea Org tapes is a, is a set of lectures that L. Ron Hubbard delivered on the Apollo and... Um, the, from I think they're in the from the 1960s, and he tells you how to be a Sea Org member um, from being on a piece of junk boat um, 50, 50 some years ago. Okay, now they also have the minister's course, which I never actually um, completed. Eleven hundred and twenty six dollars. Mission school third class a thousand dollars. Never did it. Never completed it. Cine basics course six hundred dollars. Car school, $500. STCC, $85. That's the success through communication course. Hubbard Key to Life course, Hubbard Life Orientation course, those two that were canceled for $9,000, $5,000 and $4,000 respectively. 
uh, mini hat course 400, full hat course 670, OEC volume 0, 3740, Scientology ethics specialist course 3300. Um, this is funny too, because they say that basically I was a complete criminal and um, I had completed the ethics specialist course, which is basically like means uh, I know how to apply Scientology ethics and justice uh, policies to myself and those around me. Admin scale course, $500. I don't ever remember doing that. And overview course, $750. I have no idea what that is. And that means nothing. And there's no course called the overview course. Um, now, another thing that I want to bring up is that Scientology claims that I um, learned all of my audiovisual training while at the international headquarters, yet there are no audiovisual courses on this list, not a single one, because I didn't learn any audiovisual um, technology that I use today. I didn't learn any of those from L. Ron Hubbard or Scientology. So that's why they're not on this list because I didn't do any of those. And there's not a lot of the training that you do in Scientology has real world um, value because it was written by L. Ron Hubbard in the 1960s. Um, and it's all kind of like post-World War, um, you know, spy versus spy Cold War nonsense that L. Ron Hubbard was preaching. Now, this is a great one, too. It says processing for intensive of four intensives of auditing. So an intensive of auditing is 12 and a half hour blocks of auditing. Now I was there for 15 years and you're supposed to do two and a half hours of counseling or study um, a day or 12 and a half hours a week. And in 15 years, I received four intensives of auditing. So four times 12 and a half. That's how many auditing hours I got in 15 years of being a Sea Org member, approximately, what is that? 48, 40, 50 hours. I received 50 hours of counseling in 15 years. So if you want to know how much um, auditing Sea Org members get, it's about, um, what is that? Eh? It's about three, is that, what is that? Three hours a year, <laughs> three hours a year of counseling. Is that right? Somebody check the math on that. Pretty sure that's right. Uh, three or four hours worth of counseling in, um, is that right? That can't be right. Four intensives, 12 and a half hours, 50, 50 divided by 15. Yeah, it's not that much. Okay, so a handful of hours a year of, of counseling is what I got. And um, for that, they're charging $8,900 per intensive. For intensives, they've got that at $35,600. Now, this is another great one. So my, our total is now up to $61,675. That's how much they want me to pay them to be able to speak to my family again. But then we also have correction. So in addition um, to my wife um, in her... Um, suppressive person declared. They said that she was evil and she did all this stuff and she had to get all this correction. And you saw she had an hour of, um, of word clearing and she had a day of cramming in 15 years. That's the correction that she received. Now, the correction that I received, and I was there for longer than Claire by about a year or two, and I received a day of cramming. I received two days of cramming at $150 a day for a total of $300. And I also received an hour of word clearing in 15 years. And I received two hours of what's called FDSing, which is false data stripping. So I had some sort of false data and they had to strip that away from me. I received two hours of that. So for the criminal and the just horrible person that I was, I received about basically three days of correction in the 15 years that I was there, according to Scientology's uh, documentation. And the total amount that they would like to get from me is $62,926. Now, I haven't read Dianetics. I'm not clear. I didn't learn about Xenu. Um, the 50 hours of auditing I got, I don't even know. 
I think some of that might even have been from Tom Cruise. I'm not sure where they're getting this four intensives from. Um, but um, 50 hours. I mean, I probably got more than that from Tom Cruise alone. So I'm not exactly sure where they... There's no details of where this audit, what this auditing was and what it was for. So I'm not exactly sure how they came up with that figure. So between my wife and I, so they wanted 62,926 from me and they wanted $96,580 from my wife. So between the two of us, um, what is that? 96 and 62. That's a lot. That's about a hundred and fifty eight thousand dollars. hundred and fifty nine thousand dollars. It's about 160 K. Um, here's the bad news, guys. I didn't pay a penny. I didn't give them a penny for any of that stuff. So they really missed out on that. Anyway, this is, um, so this is the document that's saying, here's your freeloader bills. And then they send us our freeloader bills. Okay. The next thing we're going to do is we're going to, we're going to fast forward to another document from the same person, Mike Ellis, the international justice chief. And then we'll go over what he wants us to do in terms of our A to E steps. And he's going to give us some tips, some hot tips on how to get through them. Okay, so let's get into the letter from Mike Ellis. Now, this letter is from the Senior HCO International, and this is the office of the International Justice Chief. He looks like he got some fancy new letterhead that he wanted to use a few weeks after that last document he sent us. And um, he, uh, he learned how to spell my name in that amount of time. And um, here's the letter. It says, Dear Mark and Claire, I haven't been in calm with you before, that just means in communication with you. Uh, Scientologists, they cannot just write normal. They have to abbreviate and make up words for everything. I haven't been in calm with you before, but I'm writing to you regarding getting you through your A to E steps. Kirsten briefed me that she had been in calm with you to some degree from her hat, but your main terminal should be me until you are through A to E. Now, um, I want to backtrack a little bit because these two documents that we got from Mike Ellis were about three or four months before I started posting stuff on the internet. So we left in January of 2005 and we've sort of, we've been basically, we've been AWOL and they've been trying to get a hold of us and trying to get us back. And Claire's been talking to different people on the phone. And this is, I think, the first um, official communications that they sent us basically saying, hey, we need, you guys need to get back in good standing with us. And um, this is how you need to do it. The first point I want to communicate is that I want to see you through the steps and back in good standing fast. The two key factors in getting through rapidly are one, to keep moving, and two, to stay in good calm with me. Step A is for me to tell you to stop committing present time overts and cease all attacks and suppressions so that you can get a case gain. Now, um, that doesn't make any sense in the real world. And that, that also doesn't make any sense in Scientology's. Um, I think this Mike Ellis character might be semi illiterate because I'm not sure what to get a case gain. It should just say to get case gain. And that means to progress in your Scientology counseling. If you've done this, just do a short write up of how you done so. That's actually exactly what it says. If, you, if you've done this, just do a short write-up of how you done so. So he's definitely illiterate. We've confirmed this now. <laughs> um, but also, I was right. It's his step to do. So why am I need to send? If you, it says, I'm going to read this again because I literally think this dude is insane. <laughs> step A is for me to tell you to stop committing present time overts and cease all attacks and suppressions so that you can get a case gain. If you've done this, it's his step. He just said it was his step. Just do a short write up of how you done so. Anyway. Ridiculous. Step B is for you to write a public announcement as uncovered in Step B in HCOPL 7 March 1965 RB Issue 1 Suppressive Acts, Suppression of Scientology and Scientologists, or from the Introduction to Scientology Ethics book. 
Read this and then send me a proposed announcement. Don't worry about it being perfect. Just write what you see is correct based on the above reference. If it needs anything, I'll direct you. Okay, guys. Um, this is just a pet peeve of mine, but I find it amusing. So Claire was basically at the top of the top. No way to get any higher. RTC, and which is Religious Technology Center, runs all of Scientology everything internationally and i was at the international headquarters for 15 years she was there for 12 13 years and um, all we did was navigate scientology bureaucracy bs and here is like dr rando in la just some dude who is like on a he's he's basically a nobody and um, and he's going to help us navigate Scientology BS. I just find it. It's just amusing to me. Like, dude, you have no clue what we've we've been through. <laughs> anyway, the main point is to get it done and keep moving on the steps. I understand that you have your freeloader billing now. Uh, yeah, genius. You sent it to us two weeks ago. Um, if you have any questions on it or if there are any points to correct, let me know. Yeah. How about um, the part where it's one hundred and sixty thousand dollars? Maybe correct it so it's not that. Otherwise, you need to get the flow started. It doesn't particularly matter what you pay at this point. The main point is to get started and make regular payments. Obviously, the bigger payments are, the sooner you'll be done. See, he's also a financial wizard as well. <laughs> but don't wait until you've figured it all out before you start. Go ahead and send us as much as you can now while working out the rest. Let me flip over to the other page. That is, from my experience in getting others through A to E, the successful action. Once I have your step B announcement, I can give you some suggestions on what you can do for an amends project. Have you thought of any ideas for this? So one of the things you have to do is you basically have to make up the damage that you've done to the organization from escaping. I look forward to receiving your step B announcements and a beginning payment on the freeloader debts within the next few days. Let me know if you have any questions. Much love. Mike Ellis, International Justice Chief. Okay, guys. So that is the, this is basically the end of um, this video. Um, if you want to donate to the Aftermath Foundation, that's the foundation that helps people that have escaped from Scientology and they need to get a, uh, their lives back and they need to start their lives over. Um, you can click on the um, link in the description or go to theaftermathfoundation.org. If you want to uh, get a Mike Rinder bobblehead or one of these fancy dancy SP bracelets to show that you are an honorary SP, I don't know if you can see that, SP, um, they're stainless steel. There's a sizing chart on the spshop.com, and um, we've probably got your size. You can uh, fire one up and boof, you'll get it in the next uh, few days, week so. And then, um, or if you want to get a book, if you want to, if you want to dive deeper into this crazy Scientology rabbit hole, you can read my book, Blown for Good, Behind the Iron Curtain of Scientology. And obviously I go into way, way, way more detail and um, excruciatingly detail, excruciating detail on the different years, the 15 years that I worked at the international headquarters and, and, and all the time leading up to that, actually. And it basically ends with, our escape, my wife and ours, uh, my wife and my escape from the international headquarters with the help of police. And, um, or if you just want to, uh, if you get it, if you go to blownforgood.com, all of the copies that we sell there are signed by myself and my wife. Um, if you just want a copy, you don't care about any of that, you can go to Audible, Kindle, Amazon.com, uh, Sony, Kobo, anywhere where you can get books, you can get my book. And um, yeah, we've got the next um, s the next spy files is going to be number six, and that'll be coming out in uh, probably in three or four days from now. So look forward to that. Until next time.